investors clearly are uh, to some extent in wait and watch mode, uh, specifically foreign investors. Uh, we have seen them uh, kind of reducing their positioning in India a, a tad bit. Uh, even locally, uh, we have seen local funds uh, increasing their cash positions compared to, uh, say, six months back. So they are in a wait and watch mode. Uh, what we are telling investors is, look, uh, there, there is short term uh, event risk around elections, uh, depending on the outcome. Uh, but the economic fundamentals uh, remain very, very so strong and solid. Uh, while we haven't seen as strong an earnings cycle yet, uh, but if the economic cycle plays out and if we see the right policy environment post elections, uh, the earnings cycle should become stronger as the market has been expecting. And I think this is also borne out by the overall market level. So while we have seen foreigners selling, uh, we haven't seen much uh, that aggressive buying by locals yet, uh, the markets haven't come off that much. So that, that also gives a signal that investors are in wait and watch mode rather than being overly cautious uh, necessarily. All right. Uh, have you fielded questions on the total seat count of Modi's alliance? Uh, does that matter to investors at all, whether it's 385, 400, or just like 2019, uh, 340? Are they okay with even a simple majority as long as Prime Minister Modi comes back? So again, depend on the investors you speak to. Uh, some some do care uh, whether whether Mr. Modi comes back with a big major bigger majority, a lesser majority, uh, doesn't come back. Also, uh, various scenarios uh, in, investors do uh, are worry about it and are very very focused on that Have outcome. Have you had a conversation uh, about him not coming back as well? Is very that very an small minority of investors. Yeah, very okay. small minority of investors uh, do look at that possibility. Uh, look, and again, I said we, we don't forecast that, but uh, so in the short term, there is that debate out there, and we'll know it very soon, uh, early next week. But again, the mm -hmm. economic fundamentals, there's not much disagreement. Okay, so on the economic fundamentals, there's also chatter about how his first 100 days, if he comes back, um, simple majority, big majority, mega majority, what have you, Whichever is, whatever is the situation, if he comes back, then the first 100 days he would double down on big reforms, uh, big and bold reforms. Uh, what are you sensing on that front? Are you hearing anything in, in terms of what he would push forward to uh, draw in more investment? So look, uh, I'll say a couple of things here. One is if, if you go back by past history, uh, over the last 10 years, uh, and assuming Mr. Modi comes back, uh, again, there's been always been speculation of what he can or will do, uh, but we have seen surprises also in the past. That's the first point. Secondly, uh, we did host uh, the ex-chief economic advisor at our recently concluded AIC, the Asia Investment Conference, uh, and he was mentioning that uh, from his understanding, having worked with the government earlier, uh, the big focus of the government uh, is likely to be uh, to make sure the economic six cycle remains strong, which is basically uh, the manufacturing story uh, becomes stronger than it has been. So a lot of the reforms uh, which investors and markets have talked about is possibly going to be a focus area for the government. Right. We just got news about uh, the ratings outlook upgrade. Uh, S&P, uh, of course, has upgraded India's uh, ratings outlook, but the ratings uh, uh, level still stays at the lowest level of investment grade, triple B minus. Is that justified? So look, uh, we, we don't have a published view on that, but talking to investors, uh, if, and if you look at where uh, many of the bonds trade at, uh, clearly parts of the market already are pricing in a better rating than what it is currently. Uh, but yes, once it actually gets done, uh, it does impact uh, positioning and flows, especially on the passive side globally, and also in terms of risk waiting for uh, capital coming in uh, from financial institutions, etc. So it will have definitely have once it happens uh, a fundamental impact. Uh, is justified or not? Again, I think the market pricing tells you a lot. 